What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at the Dexterity perk in Black Ops 4 Multiplayer. I'm going to break down exactly how it works and what it does, which actually doesn't line up perfectly with the description of this perk. There's some kind of strange stuff going on. It doesn't do all the things it says it does. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing whether or not I feel this perk is worth using. I've seen a ton of people out there that absolutely swear by this perk and they use it on all of their classes and they just won't get away from it. So let's have a look at what it does. With the description of this perk, it says you're able to mantle, climb, slide, and swap weapons faster. And also you get increased weapon accuracy when jumping or mantling. The second part of that perk description is the reason a lot of players really like using dexterity because they like jump shotting. Jump shotting is a very effective tactic to use in this game. And so for those people that are jump shotting a lot, it seems like dexterity is the obvious choice. But let's start going through each one of those points of the perk description and see just how effective it is compared to not having dexterity on. So first up, we have mantling faster. On the left, we don't have any perks equipped, and on the right, we do have dexterity. We're using the same gun, same attachments, all that kind of stuff. And I simply mantle onto this object here. As you can see, the animation with his hand coming off the gun and then getting back to the gun, that's actually identical between these two. So it looks like dexterity isn't actually working for you here, but if you pay close attention to the hipfire crosshairs, you'll see that with dexterity, you recover from that much faster as you're mantling onto the object. So while the action itself doesn't complete any faster with dexterity, you do regain that hipfire accuracy faster. Next on the perk description, we have climbing. Apparently dexterity allows you to climb faster, so I went to what I believe is the longest ladder that we have in the game currently on firing range up to the sniper's nest. And as you can see here, Dexterity is definitely helping you in this area. It will allow you to climb up faster. It's not by a massive amount, but it is enough to be noticeable. One important thing to note with this though, is there really aren't too many ladders, or at least long ladders in this game to be climbing. So this one has a very small effect on your actual gameplay, because aside from this ladder here on firing range, most of the ladders are so short that you can actually just jump and completely skip the ladder. You can just mantle up onto the object without even using the ladder. This brings us to sliding, and this is possibly the most noticeable difference with Dexterity that I was able to find. You do slide a little bit faster with Dexterity equipped. You don't necessarily slide for a longer distance, or at least not an extremely noticeably longer distance. You just get across that slide distance a bit faster, and it also seems that you recover slightly faster from slides with Dexterity. And this can be chained with the jump slide jump technique that I mentioned in a previous video to get you around the map faster than you can without having the Dexterity perk equipped. So finally, before we get into the second part of the perk, which is what a lot of people use this perk for, which is that increased accuracy while jumping, this is the ability to swap weapons faster. And with this, we do see a very slight difference to our ability to swap weapons faster. I swapped from a sniper rifle to a launcher because they both have decently high raise and lower times. And it turns out with dexterity, I'm able to switch from a paladin to a launcher about 30% faster. So if you're looking at it side by side, especially in slow motion, you can definitely see a difference, but realistically in game, in most situations, it's not going to make the difference between life and death. We're looking at just a few frames. So for that first part of the description for dexterity that says that you're able to mantle, climb, slide, and swap weapons faster, this is true on all of those cases. However, in all of these cases, it's a very small amount, and in my opinion, it would have a very small effect on your gameplay. The most important part, like I said, and the part that most of the people are running this perk for, is your increased weapon accuracy when jumping. So let's have a look at that. The first thing I did was just stationary jumping. I picked a GKS here because the GKS is very accurate, so we would see nice consistent results, and it wouldn't actually be the weapon's recoil taking over. Instead, any sort of movement here should be occurring because of the jump itself. And as you can see, it doesn't appear that there's any difference whatsoever to your weapon's accuracy while jumping with dexterity equipped, at least when you're standing still. So it's not looking too good for dexterity, but I decided to try it while moving as well. Maybe it has to do with your strafing ability. So as you're strafing and then you jump, which is a more realistic occurrence in a game, you're generally not just standing still and jumping. You're going to be like jumping around a corner and snapping on a target. Well, once again, when you look at them side by side here, they look identical to me. There appears to be no noticeable difference whatsoever in your weapon accuracy while jumping and aiming down sight. Now this got me thinking, well, since it doesn't have an effect on your aim down sight accuracy, maybe it'll have an effect on your hip fire accuracy, like it did when we mantled on top of that object. Once again though, when you put them side by side, and I even zoomed in on the crosshairs for you, they recover at the exact same speed, and also when you're jumping, your hipfire spread will increase by the exact same amount. 
And therefore, once again, I'm not seeing any difference whatsoever to your weapon's accuracy while jumping and using dexterity. So it appears, at least in the game's current state, the second part of the description for dexterity is just incorrect. This perk appears to have literally no effect whatsoever on your ability to stay accurate while performing a jump shot in this game. And therefore, if you've been running this perk for that specific reason, I think it's time to take it off and switch to something else, like Gung Ho for instance, which is going to be helping you in a lot of situations where you're being really aggressive. If you guys have missed the video I did on Gung Ho, by the way, I will leave that link down below so you can see just how powerful that perk can be, especially if you use the right technique that I share in the video. So overall, the Dexterity perk does have some effect on your ability to swap weapons faster, on your ability to climb ladders, or the few ladders that we have in this game faster, as well as your ability to mantle on top of objects with a little bit greater accuracy, at least while hip firing. And in addition to that, it does allow you to slide a little bit faster, as well as a little bit more often. But aside from that, it's not really doing much for you, and in my opinion, this perk is generally not worth using in its current state. The effects on those areas that it does actually change are very minimal for the most part, and you don't even get the full benefit of what the perk description says. So as a result, personally, for my tier 2 perks, if I'm going to be using a tier 2 perk, it's definitely still going to be gung-ho. And as it is right now, I see no real reason to be using the dexterity perk. Of course, though, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of dexterity? Are you one of the people that absolutely swears by dexterity, and do you still swear by it? If so, let me know why. And also, did any of the results in this video surprise you? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.